Hi there, welcome back to the C++ series. Today, we're going to talk about strings. It's a way in C++ to represent text. As simple as that. Standard C++ provides support for objects with an interface similar to that of a standard container of files. A string can be declared as a located block of memory, and if we want to have a bigger string, we need to delay the old string and create a new allocation. Okay, character. We can we can talk about character if we use one byte of memory, eight bits, or two hundred fifty six possibilities. Okay. In fact, a string are a sequence of characters. Okay. A set of characters is a string of text. Now, the string ends with the null terminated character. It begins at the memory address and you until it hits the zero on the allocated memory. To give an example, we can declare a bar called foo, okay, the array of 20 elements. We can also represent the word hello and Merry Christmas as they also can fit into these elements, okay? Now, let's take about uh, a, little bit, a little bit more of practice and write some exercise. Fine, let's try some string on C without using the string class to see the difference with the standard library, okay? We need to include the R string using namespace, and here we're going to declare a uh, Let's say my C string for you to see the difference. Okay, it's gonna be files. Okay, and then we can simply here open curly braces, L the first one. This is uh, just a little bit explains to show you what I mean with this. S and then finally we simply depart slash with the null terminated character. Okay. Close here and then we just simply see out. Okay. To show you. Okay. My C train. Okay. Just like that, and then, and, okay, system pause, with control save, and see what's up, control F5. Now, this is this. Okay. Now, it's a lot of work to print a text on the screen, right? Now, let's try something different. Let's say here, because we just simply say Luis. Okay, control save, control F5, and we can have the same result. It's easier, right? Now, we get the same result with the literal pause. He creates an array and puts the null character at the end for us. Okay, now let's include the string class from the standard library. Let's say include that string string as simple as that and then we're going to say hey let's get rid of this. It says standard library okay to use it and we say string to be my train just like that and then we're going to say my string is going to be equals to Luis fine and then we need here to say a standard library okay see out my string
Okay. We got an error here. We need to pay pi is with capital S. My string here, and then we are simply gonna take here the standard library. Okay. And yes, let's save it. Control F5. We should get the same result as simply as that. Now, as you can see, it's very simple to use the standard library. Uh, we don't have to work a lot. And we can also create strings. We can also append strings. And so 